I have recently switched my beer for kombucha. Kombucha has grown in its popularity in recent years, primarily because of the huge health benefits that it has. So stick around to find out what's in this drink and why I decided to switch to it. Let's begin. Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Hume. I'm a chiropractor currently based in the Oxfordshire area. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at kombucha. Kombucha has grown in popularity, particularly in the last 100 years, particularly in the West, but it has been around for an estimated 2000 years. And it is thought that it started in the area of China. So why has it grown in popularity? Well, mainly because of the recent health benefits that we found in kombucha, particularly in regards to the bacteria and the cultures in regards to our gut health. So firstly, what is kombucha? It's actually quite a simple drink. It's essentially formed of tea. So normally black tea or green tea mixed with sugar and then a colony of bacteria and yeast that we call SCOBY. So you mix the three together, you then put it uh, in a container and it's left to ferment at anywhere between seven to 14 days. And then you have your kombucha. After it has fermented, then you can add in flavors and uh, sweeteners or sugars to then uh, add some flavor to the drink. So it's quite a simple drink and it is meant to be a very healthy drink. I'm gonna go through my top three health benefits of kombucha. There are many things that uh, it could theoretically help with and actually there's not a lot of, of research specifically on kombucha but given the the things that it has in it and the ingredients and the vitamins and minerals we can then make some assumptions on the benefits that it's likely to have so the number one effect that it has a number one health benefit and this is the number one reason why i bought it and why i swapped it for a lot of my drinks particularly the beer so i now i drink a lot less beer and more the kombucha is because of the bacteria and yeast that is in it that is really good for the gut. The gut is really the foundation of your health. If you have a bad gut, you're not going to be able to absorb a lot of the vitamins and minerals and macronutrients that you're going to need to stay healthy. But also there's a strong link between the gut and the nervous system and the gut and the immune system and really most other systems in the body. So if you have a bad gut, you got a bad grounding for your health. And so for me to stay healthy, to be able to absorb all the nutrients that I need, I need to make sure I have a good gut. So I like to try and make sure I'm drinking or eating foods or drinks that have been fermented, that have natural bacteria in it. So natural yogurt and kimchi is another common food that I will also drink. But this is a nice addition. I, I like to have a drink uh, just before dinner towards the end of the day and often that would be beer but now i'm able to swap that with kombucha and have the same level of satisfaction so i tend to to alternate a little bit between the two but i'm certainly having a lot less beer and a lot more kombucha and this is the main health benefit the main reason why I bought this. Because of the impact it can have on the gut with the healthy bacteria, it is therefore theorized that it's gonna be good that if you have digestive issues such as IBS or other um, digestive issues like constipation. If you are suffering with a digestive issue, then you may want to consider implementing or increasing your fermented foods and kombucha is certainly a good option. But it also has a lot of other health benefits. It is packed full of minerals and vitamins. It is high in zinc, magnesium, copper, nickel and cobalt. And it's also high in vitamin B1, B6, B12, as well as vitamin C. So it's packed full of a lot of vitamins and minerals. And lastly, number three, kombucha is high in antioxidants. So because of the teas mainly, it is high in antioxidants, which help to combat the free radicals that run around the body and can, in some cases, cause some issues. So theoretically, it can help with cancer or heart issues. So why do I love this drink so much? Well, as I mentioned, I love the fact that it's good for the, for the gut, but also it's a great alternative to beer, as I've mentioned, but also it's a much better alternative to Coke or Fanta or those other sugary and, and soda types of drinks. It is a more natural drink 
and it has a lot of really good nutrients in it. Now you generally have two different types of kombucha. The first one is where they ferment it in the process that I described earlier and then at the end they may add some sugar to sweeten the drink which is normally what you're going to want to do otherwise it's not going to taste quite as good. Or what they can do at that point is that they can add in a natural sweetener such as stevia. Stevia is a natural sweetener that comes from a plant and therefore this is the reason why I've actually gone for this type of kombucha. So this type that I've got here, um, which is I got from Amazon, is a sugar-free but it's done naturally. I'm usually very cautious with sugar-free drinks. I I almost never will go for Diet Coke or Coke Zero or those types of drinks. I'd much rather, if I'm going to have that type of drink, is just to go for the sugar. But because this is already a natural drink, and because sugar is already naturally high in our diets and, and very hard not to have it high in the diet, I want to decrease the amount of sugar that I'm having. And this is why I've gone for the sugar-free, the naturally sugar-free. Now you might think that's an oxymoron because the sugar is actually needed to ferment the drink. But after that has occurred, if the right amount of sugar has been put in, then it actually uses up all the sugar. So by the end, you actually have very little sugar unless you add more in. So in this drink, they've added in stevia, which is the natural sweetener. And it basically just passes through your intestines. It's not absorbed, so it doesn't affect your, your blood sugars and then it just is excreted out of the urine. So it gives you that, that sweetening effect. So it tastes good, but it's not actually affecting your sugar levels. So I, I concluded that in this context that this is going to be the better drink for me. So if you've not heard of kombucha or maybe you've been thinking about it, then do give it a go. I have put a link to the kombucha I bought in the description below. So far, I've just tried uh, the one flavor, which is the mango passion fruit, which is really, really nice. I'm going to branch out and try some of the other um, flavors. There's quite a few flavors there, but if you follow my link, then you'll see the uh, kombucha on Amazon that you can buy. Uh, which I believe looks to be quite good and it also tastes good. So give it a try if you haven't. It is good for you. I uh, will certainly recommend it and I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you like to see more videos like this then please do um, subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell and you will be the first to know about my videos when they are released. Any video suggestions put them in the uh, comments below and I will hopefully see you on my next video. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.